Hello, hello, students of mathematics. I would like to present a new topic, um, not so new, addition and subtraction of fractions. But today, uh, they will not be lookalikes. I hope um, you remember from the previous lessons that uh, fractions can be unlike, in English they're called unlike, or like fractions. What does it mean? Uh, we see that, um, let me highlight, we can say that one third and one half are not lookalikes, unlike fractions, because they have different denominators. Uh, they do not have same denominator. In the meantime, two six and three out of six, which are their equivalents, right? These are equivalents. Have they do have the same denominators, and therefore we call them lookalikes or like fractions. So how do we add fractions with two different denominators? Step one, when you see two or three fractions being added or subtracted together, pay attention to their denominators. What type of parts are we talking about? Aha, uh -huh. we're talking thirds and a half. Well, they're not lookalikes. What do we do? Step one, we must find their LCM. LCM, least common multiple, uh, we learn it in first chapter of 3 and 2, is 6. In fact, let's spend a little bit of time and let's find some very common LCMs. Um, what just happened? <laughs> uh, LCM, yes, I found it. LCM of 2 and 3, of course, is 6. LCM of, let's just say, 2 and 5, well, they both multiply to 10. They multiply to 20 and 30, but the least one is 10. Of course, we can write 20, uh, 20 and 30, but we do not need to know about them for the purpose of adding fractions. Um, LCM of 3 and 4, that's another very commonly occurring long example, is 12. LCM of um, 3 and 5 is 15. LCM of um, 3 and 7 is 21, right? Notice that so far we just multiplied the two fractions by each other to find their least common multiple. But it ain't so all the time. Let me bring you different examples. Let's find LCM of 5 and 10. Well, of course, you would say 50 at first, but 50 is a multiple, but it's not the smallest, not the least. In fact, it's much easier. They both multiply to 10, right? 5 goes into 10 two times, and 10 goes into 10 just one time by itself. Next, let's find a different example. Uh, LCM of 6 and 9. Of course, you can say it's 54, and it's true, 54 is a common multiple, but it's not the smallest. 6 and 9 multiply to 18. 6 goes into 18 three times, right? Three times, and 9 goes into 18 two times. Uh, let's see, another good example, find LCM of hmm, <laughs> 5, 5, and 10. Oh, no, it just did 5 and 10, so sorry. Let's find an LCM of 5 and um, 6. Well, that's just simply 30. There's nothing less than that. Of course, there is also 60 and there is also 90, but those are other bigger numbers. Um, what else can I think of a good example? LCM of 3 and 8 is uh, 24. But um, what can I think of that we don't always multiply the numbers? LCM of, <laughs> what could be a good example? Oh, four, four and six. You might say it's 24. It is true, 24 is a multiple, but 12 is the least common multiple. So what do we do? One third in order for it to become two out of six, we double it, and one half in order for it to become an equivalent three out of six, we triple it. Okay, let's practice. Add one third and two fifths. Well, I'm not even going to bother with the visual model. Step one, please analyze the denominators. They're not the same. What do we do to one third and two fifths to make them an equivalent of 15? 
we need to multiply times 5, and 2 fifths has to be tripled. So this becomes 5 fifteenth, and this becomes 6 fifteenth. Together we have 11 out of 15, right? The next example, 1 third and 4 fifths. Again, step 1, always, always note their denominators. Are they the same? No, they're different. And of course, 3 and 5, we just reviewed 15 is the common multiple. We can convert them to equivalents. One third has to be multiplied five times, and four fifths has to be tripled, tripled. Five times one is five, four times three is 12. We have 17 fifteenths. The only problem is it's improper, right? We have much larger numerator than a denominator. So it's one and two out of 15 equal parts, and that's the final answer. Now we have additional examples on the following page, 67. Uh, I'm gonna highlight it. We have add three eighths and one six, add seven tenths and five six. So let's go through the motions. Three eighths and eight six in one six definitely not lookalikes, but the common multiple is 24. What's the equivalent of three eighths? Well, what do we need to do? We need to triple this fraction, right? 3 times 3 is 9, and 3 times 8 is 24. 1, 6, what is the equivalent? We need to quadruple it. It becomes 4 out of 24. 9 plus 4, 13, 24. Let's look at another example. And you know, I don't even want to bring up this example because they're bringing to denominator 48, and I don't even want to bring this up. Always, always find the least common multiple. And the least common multiple of 8 and 6, LCM of 8 and 6, is not 48. It's actually only 24. Let's see. Did we have this example on 1? Yeah, you had 3 and 8, 24. We had 4 and 6, 12. Yes, we did have similar examples, right? Uh, finally, 7 tenths and 5, 6. Well, I would not do it this way because 10 and 6, it's true. 10 and 6 do multiply to 60, but the LCM of 6 and 10 is, of course, 60 is one of them, but the least common multiple is 30. 6 goes into 30 five times, and 10 goes into 30 three times. So let's work with that. 7 tenths and 5 sixes. I'm going to pick up a different color. 7 tenths, we just need to triple it, and 5 out of 6, we need to multiply it five times. And we have uh, 21 out of 30s. That's the equivalent of 7 tenths. And 25 out of 30. We have 46 out of 30s. And of course, they're both even numbers. We can reduce it two times. Becomes 23 out of 15. And 15 goes into 23 one time. And the remainder is hmm, 8 fifteenths. Now, my friends, let's take a look at number 4. Let's take a look at number four. I am going to find all least common multiples. Let me just bump it up. And let me also make a very, very narrow line to divide. Yeah, like that. I love it. We're going to split this this way. We're going to split this this way. Very good, very good. So let's proceed. We need a thicker pencil. You guys cannot see it. So, first of all, let's find LCM of these two numbers. What do we have? 9 and 6, 4 and 12, 10 and 6. Well, let's write at the very top. Let's write at the very top. LCM, and you can do the same in your books, of 6 and 9. Well, you could say 54. 54 is a multiple. True, but not the smallest one. The smallest one is actually 18. We had this example just a few minutes ago. LCM next of 4 and 12. Well, guess what? We don't have to multiply them by each other. We know that 12 is a common multiple for both of this number. And finally, LCM 4, 6, and 10. Aha, uh -huh. it's not 60, my friends. We just had a similar example. It's only 30. 6 goes into 35 times, 10 goes into 33 times. So what do we do with this information, right? We need to make it out of 18 and out of 18, right? And we need to make it out of 12. 
plus another equivalent out of 12. And here we need to make it out of 30 equivalent and then and add another equivalent out of 30. Let's do some math. 7 nines. We need to double it. We have 14 out of 18. 5 out of 6. We need to triple this fraction to make an equivalent. And we have 15. So 14. And uh, now to add these two fractions, we have 20. 9 out of 18th, which is the same as 1 and 11 out of 18th. That's the final answer. Finally, I'm an example B. This is we added, right? We added 3 quarters plus 5 twelfths. Well, 5 twelfths remains the same. What happens to 3 quarters? We need to triple this fraction, right? Triple to 12 pieces. 3 times 3 is 9 twelfths. 9 plus 5 is 14 out of 12. We always need to reduce it right here, my friends. Very important. Don't miss this piece. Simplest form. So how do we go about it? 14 out of 12 is the same as 7. 7 out of 6, which is 1 and 1, 6. I hope I'm solving it correctly. Finally, 3 tenths plus 5, 6. Of course, 3 tenths. We have to triple this fraction. And we have to multiply this 5 times to find equivalent. 3 times 3 is 9. 5 times 5 is 25. And I let you simplify this example. Now, what about here, right? Let's find equivalents. And I'm doing D, E, F. Let's see it. We have, we have different denominators. Let's quickly find the equivalents. Okay? 3 and 5. We know that common language, common multiple, is 15 for 3 and 5. We are going to times 5 this fraction, and we're going to triple the next one. 2 times 5 is 10, and at 6 results in 16 out of 15, or 1 and 1 15 Put it in a circle. What do we have in E? E for Addy. Oh, we know it's 24, right? That's the common multiple for 24 and 6 is 24. So this fraction remains the same. We don't change it. But 5 out of 6, we must multiply it 4 times. becomes 20 out of 24 together. And hmm, what just happened? Mm -hmm. How strange. No. Where is my eraser? Yeah, let's clean it up. So here resulting in 27 out of 24, which is the same as 1 and 3 out of 24, simplify to 1 and 1 eighths. 1 and 1 eighths. And finally, 7 tenths and 93 hundredths. Of course, 10 and 100. And common denominator would be 100. 100. What do we do to 7 tenths? We multiply 10 times. 70 out of 100 plus 93 out of 100 together becomes mm -hmm, 163 out of 100, which simplifies to 1 and 63 hundredths. Let's write it up. 1 and 63 hundredths. I hope, I hope you understand how we're doing common, common denominator. And finally, I want to bring this word problem because the language is a little bit different. Carrie read three quarters of a book yesterday. So this was yesterday. Well, it's one quarter, one quarter, one quarter, and one quarter. So how much did she read? She read three quarters, three out of four equal parts. And she read two thirds of it today, today, right? Today. So, one, oh, I don't know how they split it. And that's why I don't like pictures very much. They're not very intuitive. But here's the question that I did want to bring up to your attention. What fraction more? This language is new to you. If, let's say, Carrie read 30 pages, right? 30 pages yesterday and 20 pages today. How many more? You would say difference, 30 minus 20. But that's no longer, they're no longer giving you exact numbers. They're giving you fractions, three quarters and two thirds today. How, what fraction more? In order to find the difference, we use subtraction. Three quarters minus two thirds. And of course, we need to find equivalent fractions. You know, like I say, four LCM of three and four 
is 12, right? How did we do this? We just multiplied them together. So 3 quarters and 2 thirds. What happens here? 3 quarters, let's multiply it times 3 to get to 12. So we have 9 twelfths. And 2 thirds, we need to multiply times 4 to get to 12 parts. 8, 9 twelfths minus 8 twelfths is 1 twelfths. The answer is 1 twelfths more. 1 twelfths more she read yesterday than today. I hope you found this lesson useful.